Hello. This is my MCC. Okay, hello. And this is Ben Shaw, who is the son of David Shaw. Hi, Ben. Our faculty How are you doing? Look all sharp today. Very yeah. nice. I have a tie, but I'll put it on later. You like the universe, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, how can you not like the universe? Yeah. All right. Yes. You got it? Yeah. Cool. I will email. We wanted the image to be what the eye would see. Right. But occasionally they slipped in images, the visualizer slipped in an image of the animal that has that eye. Because the TV world is so fractured. <laughs> You've got your shows, I got my shows, you got yours. Ask you to join me in welcoming Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson to ask. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for having me on campus. For all the educators in this room, it's our responsibility to make sure you make informed decisions. I think we should embrace all of what it is to be human. And all of these subjects that we just briefly listed are the expressions of culture, the expressions of civilization. Does that mean you're quick? <laughs> oh, congratulations. Didn't you come up here already? Yeah. Now you got like two awards? Should I pop my camera? Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Thank All right, you. good. Nice Thank you. Have to go upstairs. This way? This way? A photon walks into a hotel to check in. <laughs> and the bellhop comes up to the photon and says, any luggage? And the photon says, no, I'm traveling light. <laughs> That's cool. Can I take yeah, sure. Uh, what would happen if you tickle the cameraman? <laughs> 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 you have really made this plain, easy to understand for people, and you're very popular, your work, your research among young people. And I don't think I'm making science cool. I think science has, all, has always been cool, and I'm just revealing that fact. Hey. Hi. Is this the place? It means the universe in which we now live may be the space-time that had been created in a black hole embedded in a parallel universe, but whose gravity is secretly tugging on the orbit of Neptune, okay? <laughs> it's a full house. Thank you to all of you who have come out to the largest Scholars Day event ever. But his true passion is to bring the wonders of science to the masses. He's written 10 books. He's hosted Nova Science Now on PBS for five seasons. And most recently, he's launched a reboot of Carl Sagan's TV series, Cosmos. So please give another warm welcome to our Scholars Day keynote speaker, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just messing with the sound guy in the back. He gave a talk that was far and away the greatest talk I have ever heard on any subject ever. I was spellbound. It was about the universe and our place in it. I'm, I'm an astrophysicist. I know this stuff. I had seen greatness in front of me. And I said to myself, damn, I'll, I'll never come near that. But I can aspire to it. And I think that's what, that's what greatness is or should be for all of us. And so that's my Carl Sagan memory that is strongest within me, that lives with me. All of you, I want to just thank you for having me in your fair town. 
and for all of you for staying this late, particularly the young ones, where it's way past your bedtime, because I know it's past my bedtime. All of you, thank you all for coming.